GTF. Kisa. What's good? Another day. Another video. GTF LC was going on, man. GTF was going on. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed. Yeah. If you woke up this morning, you are most definitely blessed. GTF was good, man. It's a beautiful day down here in Miami, Florida. You understand me? Look at that weather. Look at that beach. Look at that sand. You understand me? We enjoying it all out here. You understand me? Damn, boy, if you opened your eyes this morning, it's a gift. You understand? We got to learn to appreciate. You feel me? Opening your eyes every morning, man. But what's good, though, man, today, I'm on the beach with it. I'm just vibing, you feel me? I just want to take y'all to the beach with me, you feel me? Uh, I don't know what we eat here today. Um, I don't know. I really don't know what we eat today, man. I just want to come out to the beach real quick and vibe a little piece. Last time I took y'all to the beach, we was on Fort Lauderdale Beach. Today, we on Hollywood Beach with it, you understand me? Hollywood Beach, another nice beach to go to, you understand me? I mean, I ain't gonna, I'm giving y'all all my little spots. I shouldn't be giving y'all all my spots because I don't want my spots to get overcrowded, you understand me? But yeah, also fam, yesterday, I'm excited about, we uh, started a new, a new video series yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Well, actually, the series been started. It was a snack series. I actually did two snack videos already. But, you know, I was trying to come up with, a, you know, like how we got the concepts going. The series concept going for, like, the cheat code concept. We got the uh, the versus concept. We got the uh, the grill fund, the half a dub concept. So I was trying to come up with the concept for the snacks, you understand me? So I don't know if you guys missed it, if you guys see it, check the latest one out. We started the snack series, you feel me? And the concept is uh, basically, you know, like with the intro, it say, what's in your plate? And then after that, it says, what the business, Jack? Today I'm back with a sniggity snack, you heard? So most definitely check that video out if you guys missed it. It's a short form video, check that video out. I'm real excited about that video, man, you feel me? But yeah, man, I don't know what we, it's a freestyle type of day, I don't know what we eat today, but right now we at the beach, you understand me? And it's a beautiful day out here. Man, I ain't gonna lie with y'all, man. I still gotta get that on. Um, I still gotta get them sand, them, 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 them shoes. I don't know, them beach shoes or the uh, swimming shoes. I still need to get some. I got sand going all in the sandals, you know what I mean? It's crazy. Beautiful out here though. I ain't even gonna cap with y'all man. I just don't like that seaweed stuff. But it's so beautiful out here, bruh. Jeez. That view is amazing, bruh. I definitely need to get them beach shoes. to get up out of here, you heard? I ain't gonna lie, it's beautiful and I wish I could stay forever, but we gotta figure out what we gonna eat today. All right, fam. We in a whip, you Um, I think today, as far as food goes, we about to do a chica. You understand me? I ain't gonna lie, it's something that I was thinking about yesterday. Uh, so, I think today might be a perfect day to do a chico. Uh, basically yesterday, you know, uh, I did a, a snack review, and in the snack review, I, I reviewed the uh, Cuban sandwich, flavored Lay's potato chip, you understand me? So I just thought it'd be dope to do a cheat code involving the Cuban sandwich Lay's potato chip. So that's what we're doing today, man. You understand me? That's what we're going to do today, man. We're going to involve the Cuban sandwich flavor lace chips in a cheat code man let go Thank you. 
All right, fam. We pulling up right now. Take the next right onto Thomas Street, then turn right. Take the next right, Thomas then your right destination. Here. Yeah. We pulling up to Three Palms Cuban Cafe. Destination Stay is on the left. Three Palms Cuban Cafe. Let's go see what this fool hitting for. Wish I'd had the more than pestle with me. All right, fam. We got the grub, yard. We got the grub. Grub on sight. Don't cause no fight. All right, fam, we in the whip. You understand me? Uh, I ain't gonna lie though. This almost, almost didn't make grub for under half a dub. It was just a tad bit under half a dub. You understand me? But it's still grub for under half a dub. All right, fam. Time to set up Grub Tip Mobile Studios. All right, so. Basically, I went to this restaurant called Three Palms Cafe. Uh, Three Palms Cafe is what it's called? I think that's what it's called. Three Palms Cuban Restaurant. And um, I got a Cuban sandwich. That's what I got here. Cuban sandwich. Nice long size. Nice long size, you me? It's a nice size. Uh, paid nine fifty eight for this. And we about to do a cheat code. So the cheat code, so I got a Cuban sandwich and I got the Cuban chips, you understand me? So we gonna put this together and make a cheat code. You understand me? All right, fam, let's get into this food. All right, fam, let's pop this thing Oh. Ooh, wait. Yeah, that thing looking, fam? Oh, wait. All right, fam, that close-up action. See what that thing looking like, you yeah, See that? Got the ham in there, got the pork mayo. You know what I'm saying, Got the pickles in there. This is a good-looking cube. This ain't a little cap with y'all. Yeah, sir, fam. Y'all drop them comments. Let me know what y'all think. Have you guys ever had a Cuban sandwich before? What do you guys think about Cuban sandwiches? Let me know. Gotta pull one for the GTF. All right, fam. Y'all see that Cuban sandwich? Cuban sandwich. If you never tried a Cuban sandwich before, you got to try one, fam. I ain't gonna cap with you. So basically, this is a cheat code video. So what I did was, I grabbed it. I got it. I bought the chicken sandwich. I said chicken sandwich, Cuban sandwich. I bought the Cuban sandwich. My bad. You ain't never tried a Cuban sandwich before. Got to try one yard. It consists of, you feel me, the bread, the way they press the bread. They got the pickle, the mayo. They got ham in there. Then they got pork in there too as well. I mean, you can ask them to remove. You don't want certain, if you don't want the pork or whatever, you can get it the way you want it made. I got it with everything. So basically, yeah, so this is a human sandwich. You know what I mean? So basically for the cheat code, what I did was I got the Cuban sandwich. I opened up the Cuban sandwich. You feel me? Then, I got the bag of Cuban sandwich flavored Lay's. So I took some of the Lay's and I put them on top of the sandwich. I don't know if you guys can see that real well, but if you can look real closely, you'll see the chips on top of the sandwich. So now you got Cuban sandwich flavored Lay's on top of a Cuban sandwich. So this thing here becomes extra Cuban-y. You understand me? Extra Cuban-y. Then you close that baby up. You feel me? You look at it one time. Y'all see the lays in there? Yes, sir. 
and then you hit that bit. Mm-hmm. Bam. Mm. This Cuban sandwich. With the Cuban sandwich flavor, with the Cuban sandwich flavor layers. This thing outside. I ain't gonna capture y'all. Hit that bit again. Mm-hmm. Ain't right. Ain't right. I ain't gonna lie, them Cuban sandwich legs came out right on time. You know what I mean? And it's crazy how the chips. I don't keep blowing the horn, bro. People always were doing some ridiculous stuff, bro. Who's blowing the horn? Dog, people in Miami, bro. But, uh, yeah. It's crazy that the Cuban sandwich flavor lays when you eat the chips by themselves, by themselves, they actually, you can actually taste like that, that mayo and cheese flavor in the, um, in the chips. You can actually tell, I mean, I mean, I don't taste the ham or nothing in the chips, but I do taste that mayo and uh, cheese flavor, you know what I mean, a bit of pickle flavor. And it's crazy, you know what I mean? Somebody's still blowing the horn like crazy. Oh, so it's not somebody blowing the um, horn like crazy. The Benz is going crazy. There's a truck. There's a transport truck toting like about eight Benzes on there, and all the Benz alarms are going off. That's crazy. Every every Benz. <laughs> Every Benz on the truck, alarm is flashing. Like the lights are flashing and going off. That's crazy. The Benz is going crazy, yo. Damn, I hate to be the driver of that truck. You got to keep dealing with all them cars going off. It's like eight Benz on the brand new business and the alarm's going off. But yeah, this Cuban sandwich fry, fam. With a, this is a fire cheat code. This thing, right? Hit this bit again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dang five now. Also, fam, I need y'all help, right? So I'm basically caught up with my show. So last night, I ain't had nothing to watch. Um, so I started searching, you know what I'm saying, searching through online or whatever, trying to see if there's anything new to watch. I did start to watch this new show last night, but the reason I say I need y'all help is because, you know, if y'all watching anything good out there, let me know, feel me, something I might not know about. I usually like action stuff, drama shows, you know, action drama type shows. Like, I don't too much care for no sci-fi or comedy shows like I don't too much care for stuff like that just really drama action type stuff adventure stuff like that so if you guys know any shows like that let me know man but so yeah yesterday I started watching um, this new show that I found I don't know how new it is I think it recently came up it's called Rabbit Hole and um, the star of the show well, with one of the main characters in the show is Kiefer Sutherland Kiefer Sutherland I like Kiefer Sutherland. I think he's a pretty good actor. You know what I mean? He got a lot of roles when it comes to the TV shows. You feel me? So, he's like the star of the show or the main character or whatever. And in this show, like, it started It started off kind of slow. At first, when I was watching it, it started off kind of slow to the point where, like, it wasn't really keeping me focused to the show. Like, I was, I was playing on my phone, too, because I wasn't so focused on the show because it kind of started off slow. But, you know, later on in the show, later on in episode one, it got good. But basically a quick little rundown 
on the show. It says uh, in the storyline, quick little rundown says nothing is what it seems when John Weir. John Weir is Kiefer Sutherland, the name in the show. John Weir, master of corporate espionage, finds himself at the center of shadowy conspiracy. After uncovering a dangerous plot by powerful forces with the ability to control pop populations and subvert democracy, Weir is framed for murder and put on the run, trying to figure out who and what is real and the reality turned upside down. As a man who deals in mistrust and deception, can John Weir trust a team unlikely allies, a team of unlike, unlikely allies to outwit an enemy with deep ties to his past and who's bent on using your own data against us? John Weir must navigate a world of surveillance, misinformation, and manipulation to uncover the man at the center of the plot and stop him before it's too late. So that's a quick little rundown on the show. Like I said, it kind of started off slow at first, but then toward the uh, middle of the show, you know, it got it got better. Um, like I said, it started off good because he was doing work for a client, him and his team, you know, like they're like, they, 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 they set up a situation, like they set up, like basically they needed to take a picture of these two people together. And these two people had never met in real life, but the way they set it up for them people to actually cross, cross paths and, uh, these two people had never met before. The way they set it up for the two people to actually cross paths and they were able to snapshot the two people right next to each other, making it seem like the two people actually like communicating, like they know each other when they really didn't know each other. So it was kind of crazy. You feel me? So it got good around that part and then, and then it got also got good when um, they framed him. All of a sudden they framed him and uh, his face was on the news saying they framed him for murder. He was getting framed for murder. His face was on the news and he don't know what's going on. He don't know who's behind it. It's crazy. Then he was going back to his office and he had his, his, you know, people who worked for him in his office and he was headed back to his office and his office blew up. So his employees died as well. So now, you know what I mean? They're going to, they're trying to put all of that on him. You understand me? So I ain't going to lie. It kind of got crazy. So towards the, you know what I'm saying? Towards the middle, towards the end, it got me in tune into the show. So now I can't wait to see episode two and see what that's all about. But yeah, man, it's a, it's a, so far it's so good. Like I said, the beginning it was kind of slow for me, but towards the middle, it got good. So now I'm looking forward to uh, episode two. I'll probably watch episode two tonight. But yeah, fam, if you guys know any shows, man, let me know. Because all the shows I usually watch are on break right now. Or already done watched the current episode. You feel me? So if you guys know any good show, man, let your boy know. You all You understand me? But yeah, fam. Um, Y'all go ahead on and get that Cuban sandwich, man, with them Cuban um sandwich flavored legs. You know what I'm saying? Try that cheat code out, man. The thing was fire. I ain't gonna cap with y'all, y'all. But yeah, fam, I gotta go ahead and get out of here. I gotta take off. Got some errands to go run, y'all. Y'all already know the vibes. GTF for life.